Do you remember that? Jack played Roy? Like, How many viewers you got? We have two. four? Uh, oh, we have four? Are you guys playing next or do you guys have I see, I see Blue Zone, my dude. Yeah, Blue Zone's in chat. Hello. Hello, Shaden. You see Shaden? Shaden, Shaden low-key was calling me absolute garbage on my, uh, my comments about FOD. He was basically saying if you were good, you could handle FOD. It's true. <laughs> Isn't it, it sucks, dude. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> the amount of times, the amount of times that I have played Donkey Kong and cargo up through someone, and then the platform rose underneath me to cancel my auto jump. It, it's the worst feeling. It's absolutely the worst. Who is this? Alright. Ness is really good on FOD because the lo super low okay, time like, so let me like box on top air out of down. So like sure. Yeah. Is this round two? Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, you just have to be This is gonna be a really good cool yes. yes, this should be entertaining. Do you have much I feel like. Can someone remind me why I. No, dude, don't say that yeah, FOD is wonderful. He's a Ganon player. Oh, okay. For Ganon, it's crazy dude. Um, For Donkey Kong, it's uh, not not super fun. She drop up airs on their <laughs> super low platforms are crazy. Does Luke agree to that? Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, for Ganon, for Ganon, it's great. Blue's on left as soon as I call them out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, dude. Uh, no, yeah, I agree. FOD is really good for some characters. I just think for a lot of characters, when platforms move, um, it eliminates a lot of their combo options. And for characters that are really reliant on combo options like DK, um, when one thing gets messed up, it can lose you the game, which really makes something. It's really weird that Ness is good. Doesn't surprise me at all. Really? Doesn't surprise me at all. Works the same way with combos. But but you can tech chase on platforms. I can't. That's true. Well, like I can't, but it's not just tech chase. I'm not on FOD. It's the platforms are too like if they if they're medium height, I'm too fat to crouch underneath them, and I'm too slow to jump over top of them. So. Yo, Pikachu DK is actually really good for Pikachu. You're just terrible. Liv. I'm sorry. And Falcon players started picking FOD because they realized they can stomp through everything. It's not even cancerous, dude. You just have to fair everything. You can you can ledge cancer and stomp into drop zone. Yes. Looks clean. I also think Falcon players counterpick to FOD because in PM. Um, there's a lot of floaties, and they don't want to go on a big stage that can't kill them. That reminded me of something that I have to show you because it's so cool. Why are you so tilted about DK? He's not even that OP. He's mid-tier. Like, he's very mid-tier. What the heck? What a gangster, dude. <laughs> Ledge cancel allowed me into ledge cancel stuff. Alright, so this is game one. This is a really good stage for Rob Yoshi. It's fantastic stage. Rob Blake's. Wow, you actually just need to not lose to DK, dude. <laughs> DK stuff, I have a chart where I've trouble with DK. I should. It's like a 9010 matchup. It's it's pretty bad for DK. I don't know if it's 90 10. It's definitely a minus 2. Yeah. Um, I drop punishes on Yeah, you can't. You can't drop punishes on DK. He's like the easiest character to come. Alright. Uh, they're not really approaching kills. No. Which is interesting, because that's how you beat Rob. It just seems like they're giving a lot of space and trying to... Yeah, so this, you know, James and James and uh, Monza have a really good game plan when it comes to doubles. Um, just very similar to Narlex and... Uh, Narlex and Princess Knight. Uh, basically just have Rob sit all the way at the back, tossing out tops and shooting lasers, and coming in with like an up air or a fair when Wamsa starts getting combo too hard. And then Wemsa will just continue to go in trying to use his armor to kind of get straight hits and lead into combos. Like, Yoshi's combos are really long strings, but in doubles, um, he has a lot of tools where he can end his combos early and kind of push them off stage. Um, 
so I, I think that's kind of their game plan. DJ Nair is really good for the Yeah, so is... Uh, actually, back air into, like, any Yeah. It's pretty nutty. Wow, is he bad? Alright, so... Red Team has a little bit of a lead, but a few stray hits and they're both dead. Problem is, uh, Bryce is taking, Bryce is taking a lot of percent. Oh no! Oh, that could have been really bad for James. It seems like James isn't coming to his aid. Like he's standing back. He's very, and Bryce gets very super far back. Right yeah. Now, see, this this is the position they don't want to be. Where Snake is kind of forming a wall between uh, Bryce and. Uh, like, Alpha Kings is on one side, then it's Bryce, then it's Snake, and then it's James. In that situation, James really can't do anything. And that's, I think, the problem that they've kind of been facing, where Bryce is getting put into these bad situations, and James is just a little too far back to capitalize on uh, the enemy team overextending themselves. So I actually feel like, on paper, this stage is good, but it kind of put James in a mindset where he wants to use all the space, but... Yeah, he can't. He really can't. Yeah, as soon as he starts using the space, he just starts letting Bryce get destroyed. Yeah. Because both of these characters kind of annihilate Yoshi. Yes. Yeah. Snake is really good person. Who specifically is on the mic? It is Dr. exactly who it says. Yeah, it says on the, on the side. Except there is also my boy Phi. Chilling. The left bridge, I get forward smashes on. Oh my! Bridge. That was so that good. Was, that was almost amazing. That like, oh, that was so good. You know, left bridge is still left bridge. Oh no! Because you live here now. Rest in peace. Oh, I created left bridge. I created just next to you. All right, so this is actually quite the job. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Could do it if he's able it's to just kill cool. Alpha Kings. Like, but how are you gonna kill Alpha Kings? Yeah, it's dude? it's so tough. Alpha Kings is like one of the most patient monsters. You pretty much would have to run over like there and just get there somehow. But you can't do that without No, there's no way that there's no way Luke is gonna go anywhere near. No, no see Luke's doing exactly what he needs to do. He's just letting him see it. And then he comes in for a hit. Yeah, that's exactly what you should be doing. I swear my melee pool is going on right now. I I bet money that my melee pool is happening right now. I told Simon to come get me, but I don't think he remembers. Simon is yard sale, right? Yes. Simon is yard sale, yes. Simon? Yes. I know by today, it's not by name. Yes. The very tall guy. He stayed at my house. Oh, yes, you should know who he is. <laughs> I, I reverse three star my second ever tournament. Yard sale. Yeah. And then I was up two stocks, game two, I was counter pick. Wait, game one. Oh, wait. Red team. Yeah, red team definitely. Smear and I SD zero. That feels bad. Lost the game. Do you know who? Do you know who I'm gonna play against him? Ganon. Yes. Because I feel like if I play Peach, I'm just gonna lose. Well, it's tough because I don't. He plays Peach, and even though Icy's Peach is like a really good matchup, I feel like he just would so expose good. my fraudulent Peach. He has so many good characters. He, like plays, he plays Peach on Peach, so I'm not going to go Peach. Yeah. I mean, he also, he also oh, wanted to go Earth and Sheik. Because his Earth and Sheik are both really good. If he goes Sheik against him, that would be pretty sad. Yeah. Like, it's tough. He has I'm pretty sure that's just a free loss. Ooh, very good dash match. Got both sides. Alright, so this is looking better yeah, for Green Team. So they can, what we kind of see right now is they've swapped positions. Nice. Good game. That's what they do. So they've, they've, kind of, they've kind of switched up their game plan where now we see more of a support from Bryce yeah. than we see from James. Um, and it, it seems to be working, especially on this stage. I think this is absolutely the stage that they should do this exact plan because Rob can just edge guard folks. That is, this is like the... I am playing Rob, and I have thrown you off stage. Please die. Yeah. And we just saw that. Yeah. Edgeguard, or Edgeguard, the Falcon Kings at like 40%. Just a fair. 
Hello, Nicholas Diaz. Are you a, are you a mod? Uh, yes. Your fool hasn't been called yet. Excellent. I think you're Wave C, Wave C right? And I have no idea. I'll check. Yeah, Jack check. My boys are hooking me up, dude. No, I don't. Yeah. Something else is this stage is smaller. So they don't have as it's, much it's space. It's smaller vertically. Yeah. Right? Which I think is really helping. Um, and I think I think James James is just more act has been more active this game, and it is partly due to the stage. Because I feel like it helps that, that um, Snake and Fox don't have the platforms. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm way B. D. Oh, that's at six thirty. PM? Yeah, you're not playing till late. No, six thirty in the evening. Six thirty PM. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. I'm never playing. Lots of time to warm up for the other games. PM, PM singles will start before... PM singles will be done. Five hour PM break. singles will be over. There's a five hour break. Wait, that's PM. This is not PM. No, that's when PM starts. They don't want over there. So they schedule it for no one. Alright, I assume... There's something. I'm borrowing this. Someone is messing with our stream. It's over. It's over. Someone. The, the owner of the stream is destroying our stream as we speak. Time to ban him from 